An extruded aluminum beam has the cross section shown. If the beam is subjected to a vertical shear of 150 kN, what is the shearing stress at location H? This is the second example for the shear flow and thin walled members main video. The links to that video and other examples are in the description below. Using the shearing stress equation that we developed during the main video, we see that we have to find the first moment of area Q, the second moment of area I, and the thickness at that location T. Just like it was explained during the main video, linked to that specific section of that video in the description, we know that the stress at H will be the same as the stress on the opposite side. A cut through H all the way to the bottom would not work to find the shearing stress at H because with that cut, the shearing stresses would cancel out and we would obtain a value of zero. Mathematically, this happens because within Q, the distance from the neutral axis to the centroid of that shaded area would be zero. This is the reason for our cut to be that for taking out the top chunk of the box beam. Now pay close attention to the value of T. If the thickness T is defined to be two times the six millimeters, one on the left and one on the right, we would be calculating the total stress at this cut spread into two thicknesses of equal value. And since the shearing stress on the left and the right are the same, with a T equal to two times the thickness, we are effectively calculating the stress we want. We can alternatively take T to be only six, in which case the total shear stress would be double of what we want. And therefore, we would need to divide the VQ over IT equation into two. Notice that these two processes are effectively the same thing. So let's go with the first option. The first moment of area will be the area of the removed section, which has a base of 80 minus 2 times 12 and a height of 6. The distance from the neutral axis to the centroid of that shaded area would be half of 80 minus half of 6. And finally, the second moment of area would be that of a square minus a rectangle. The dimensions for the square are 80 and the dimensions for the rectangle 56 and 68. With the value for the second moment of area, we can substitute all values in the shearing stress equation. The shearing stress at location H would be 79.9 megapascals. For more examples on shear flow and thin walled members, as well as the main videos of the Mechanics of Materials course, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.